singers. You can dress him up, but you can't take him nowhere. Amen. Anyway, on the drums, we heard him playing on the acoustic drums back there with Angel's Wingman. He's been playing with us now for a little over seven years. Something like that. We're excited tonight. My 17-year-old son, Isaac Rose. On the All right, now that the batteries are working, uh, this young man here, he's been playing with us now. Uh, next month will be a year. We decided that uh, we went to him and asked him if uh, he wanted to come on the road with us, and uh, he did. He's singing uh, harmony and, and lead sometimes, most of the time lead, uh, playing the acoustic guitar. We're excited that uh, this 18-year-old young man has traveled with us, and he brought a little bit more life back to the group. Uh, some of us are getting older. <laughs> and... Uh, Isaac said, I think Isaac was getting tired of traveling around with three old men, amen? <laughs> so we brought him on, and we're just excited that he's with the group. 18-year-old Levi Wood. Over <laughs> okay, here my far left. Oh, no. It's far, because he's probably going to beat me when I get done. But anyway, he's my best friend. He sings, uh, sings lead, sings harmony when Levi's leading. Plays the piano. He's played with several groups throughout the years. Played at the Grand Ole Opera, several different things. He's been playing music now for about 50 years. <laughs> you know that if you're older than I am. <laughs> no, that that is a compliment. He's been playing 52 years. See, I was giving him a couple years of grace. Uh, but he's... Uh, He's my best friend. We've been through everything that best friends could go through. We've done a lot together. But the most important and the greatest thing that we've ever done together is travel up and down the road and tell the story of Jesus Christ. Amen. My best friend, Mike Fitch. And I'm sure there's no one in this church that doesn't know the great Big Mountain Groves. <laughs> He's got a tan and everything, man. I'm telling you, he drives a school bus, drives a dump truck when he can, and now he's picking up bodies when he can. <laughs> he's done about everything he can think of, too. He's, he's been into everything, home remodeling, 
you know. You know, but he says all that, but he's been right there with us, with me most of the time. I always think I've never done is gone to pick up somebody. <laughs> you, you may think that that's that ain't crazy, my but, but everything that God has led us down, every road that we He has led us down, has opened up an opportunity to share the love of Jesus Christ. Yes, yes it's true. I mean, just like we went to pick up a dear lady here in the community on Thursday night, that she'd gone on to be with the Lord, and we were able to witness and pray with her family before we left there with their, their loved one. And I'm going to tell you, before we sing this song, every song that every song that we have sung here tonight, someone has requested, and every song, the next three. But I'm going to tell you, if you're not living your life for Jesus, tonight could be your night. Amen. If you are not living your life wholeheartedly and sold out to Him, this altar is open. This next song that we're going to do, it tells about some boys that were on a boat. And their master was sleeping in the belly. And they were fearful and they didn't know what to do. And their boat was about to sink. And they thought they were going to die that night. And the only thing they had to do was go to the belly of the boat and wake up the master. I'm asking you tonight, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Savior, tonight is the night to make Him the master of your city. Yes.
We can never express enough how God has been so good to us. We can never express enough by watching the news and parallel it with the Bible and the last book of the Bible. Of how close we are to the times we're going to come against us. And I would like to see everybody just disappear right now as we all go on the heaven road. Amen. But I want you to know something tonight. <coughs> that if the Lord does step out on that Easter, if the Lord does step out in that Easter sky. When the Father tells him to go get my children and bring them home, if you're not ready, you don't want to be left here for what you're going to see. You don't want to be left here for what is coming. I'm here to tell you tonight that the midnight cry is about to be sounded. It's 11.59 and 59 seconds, spiritually speaking. And when the clock strikes midnight, if you're not ready to go, you'll be left behind. It's been requested that we do this song tonight and then we'll give you the totals. But I want you to know tonight that this altar is open. This altar is open for those that are not ready for the midnight cry.
sure that you make your way by the tables back there, amen? And then make your way down to the gym. If you parked up here, there's plenty of parking down there. Hey, it's freshly paved and freshly striped. <laughs> amen? Plenty of parking down there. Make your way into the gym and, and have a hot dog. I know the lady, I won't call her out, but I know the lady that made the chili, and you do not want to miss this chili, amen? We're going to ask Brother Leon. I'm going to tell this Brother Leon. He was in the hospital this week, and it really didn't look good for him. He was basically fighting for his life. On oxygen, they really didn't know what was going on, they even considered congestive heart failure. And I was trying to make plans to get up to go see him tomorrow. And there was a car pulled in behind me and he rolled down the window and said, Hey, buddy, is it going to be in the church or in the gym? <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, I about come unglued when I see his face. And we're just glad to have him and his uh, wonderful wife with us tonight. Well, Leon, would you stand up and dismiss us in prayer and also ask the blessing over the food? And if you want to testify, that would be fine as well. After he gets done, consider yourself dismissed. Thank you. Well, I just want to say this. I thank the good Lord for his mercy and his love. Uh, in fact, it looked like I wasn't going to be here Monday morning, but the, the Lord took over and I did yes. give God praise and glory and honor. Yes. He will see us through. Yes. Amen. Yes. Father God, we come before you tonight. First of all, thank you, Lord. For this wonderful service tonight. Thank you, for sweet Holy Spirit. Lord, that you just come here to be with your children, Lord, and bless them, Lord. We can never thank you enough. It's our trust is in you, Lord. And we just know God today that you sit on the throne. And we believe, Jesus, you're coming soon. Get us and take us out. But until then, Lord, we just ask you to bless these servers, Lord, here as they travel across the country, Lord. Father, keep your anointing upon them, Lord. And Father, minister to them, use them, Lord, to win songs to bring glory to your name. And so, Father, tonight, we cannot praise you enough. We cannot praise you, your Son, Jesus, what he has done, and the sweet Holy Spirit. And now, Lord, we ask you to bless the food here. This will be served here in a little bit. May your blessings be upon you, Lord, and we give you thanks and praise for it. Now, I pray blessings upon this one here, Lord, as they go from this place today. I pray that you bless them this week, guide and direct, and most of all, just pour out a double portion of spirit upon them. In Jesus' name.
sent you the picture of us. I was going to send you the picture and